Winter's grip is tight around the collection of city-states known as the Moon Sea, a frontier land where loyalty and kindness are as rare as the most precious gems. The Moon Sea is nonetheless said to hold both opportunity and adventure, providing one can live long enough to find it. While passing through the Dale Lands, you heard rumors of conflict in the region. Though strife in the Moon Sea is nothing new, these rumors hint at darker things. Demons are said to roam the countryside, and a mysterious new cult has appeared, intent on chaos and destruction. You approach the town of Vunlar during the worst snowstorm of the year. The merchant Madoc accompanies you, his skin blue from the biting cold. A warm hearth beckons, but something in the dwarf's eyes tells you there is trouble on the horizon. Three days hard marching over all sorts of uneven ground, and that damn wagon is fine. Yet now we're almost within sight of Vunlar, and a blasted wheel decides to fall off. Looks like Anders is just about done fixing up the wagon. Let's be off then. The shammer's rotten luck, would you believe it? The whole damn wagon's falling apart within sight of the shield headquarters. No wonder Anders scarpered a while back. What in the blasted hells are we gonna do now? I'm too bloody old to be carrying stuff around on me back like a damn mule. What do you two think you're doing? The Braun has ordered everyone behind closed doors. We're in a state of emergency here. Vunlar is under lockdown. That's a damn shame. I tell you what, why don't I give you a hand carrying this pretty little lot to the Shield headquarters? Don't ye touch a bloody thing or I'll have your ugly head on a pike. My apologies, sir. I, I didn't realize who you were. Why don't you head on over to the inn? I I'll round up a few more guards and take care of these crates here. Now that the merchandise is taken care of, I can pay you what you're owed. Here's the 10,000 gold I promised. That's a ridiculous amount of money, I... But you were the best I could find to escort me here. You might want to head to the Shield headquarters and invest some of that gold in getting yourself geared up. 
Could these rumors of demons roaming around be true? Greetings. Greetings, friend. My name is Sharolyn. What brings you to Vunla in such inhospitable weather? Really? Then you already know about the Order and the problems they've been causing. The cultists call themselves the Order of the Crippled Fang. It's only been a few weeks since the attack started, but the entirety of the Southern Moon Sea is already in a state of panic. That's what's so troubling. Nobody knows anything about them. The Order seems intent on death and destruction for its own sake. At least, shh, keep your voice down. The Zintarim, also known as the Black Network, are the true rulers of Runa. From Zentil Keep, they govern most of the Western Moon Sea. The Order are merciless in their tactics. They use teleportation magic to appear suddenly, summon demons and sled eye to wreak havoc, and then teleport away again. As of right now, nothing. The Zentarim suspect that Hillsfar is behind the whole thing, since the Order seems to be targeting them exclusively. Of course. Well, my full name is Sherilyn Muckleaf. I like to travel, and farewell to you. again. My full name is... The idea is appealing, but I'm afraid I cannot. Not right now. There was a grey-haired man in here earlier. He looked like a fool. He went up to his room earlier. You won't be able to go up there unless you're a guest here. As well as the warrior. Farewell to you. Oi, what can I get you?
I'm going to live. I knew you'd beat him. Ha <laughs> ha! Ten thousand gold, and you were worth every piece. Someone please kill him. What? But the brawn the grave? Soleno, Samatka! The brawn agreed to let you go, aye. The Zentorum won't be requiring your services any longer. Farewell, Madoc. Now, as for you, I'm afraid assault upon a town official is a hanging offense. Gentlemen, if you do the honors. What was that? Stand back, you fool. Let me deal with this. Infidel! How dare you invade a sacred temple of Lord Bane and slay his worshippers? I shall hang your body over the town walls for the crows to feast upon. I once lost an eye in similar circumstances. It's not something I care to repeat. Fool! You mock me! Do you really believe your pathetic order can threaten the might of the Zentarum? With every day that passes, the order of the Crippled Fang grows stronger. You know nothing of strength. Lord Bane, grant me the power to smite this infidel. Ortano, for Digyamar! You fools never learn. What? How? Ipu, Soleno, Samatska! Zacharis, take care of this one and finish raising the town. I've wasted enough time here already.
I was with the other patrons, watching you put the brawn on his hairy backside, when the fiend suddenly appeared. The innkeeper Errol immediately locked the door to keep everyone safe. Didn't you see? He turned tail and ran as soon as the demons appeared. Probably to lock himself in his tower. A rock tore the doors off its hinges shortly after the attack began. We'd all have been killed were it not for the warrior Asta Greysteel. Anyway, Asta was joined by another guest staying at the inn. A mage by the name of Eremuth. They left the inn and returned a short time later. I need to tell you something. I didn't come to Vulnar to perform for a handful of coppers. I have a larger purpose for being here. Let us not speak of this here. The town might nearly be deserted, but there's no sense in taking unnecessary risks. I have a room at the Swords Meet where we can talk in private. I acquired it from one of the other patrons during the chaos. Who are we dealing with? Gormstad was a high priest of Bane, a man feared throughout Vulnar. Whoever did that to him is an archmage of frightening power. for a time. Well met again. Then let us try. be the one who led the fight against the invading fiends. Thank goodness a hero like you is in town or we'd all be doomed. My apologies. This backwater town has darkened my spirits. My name is Eremith Silverwind. Don't be fooled by my appearance. I'm as much human as I am elf. Indeed. I'm sure my estranged father wouldn't want me spreading evidence of his infidelity across the breadth of the realms. Truth be told, I don't know why I bothered. The wretches in this town are the most insular little lot of peasants one could imagine. That sounds agreeable.
well met. I'm glad you came so soon. We have much to talk about. Your arrival in Vunla was fortuitous. You hardly arrived here without a reputation. My contacts in Shadowdale informed me you were passing through the area. As I said, I'm a harper. I do what I can to make folks' lives a little better. The harpers are dedicated to holding back evil, preserving knowledge, and maintaining the balance between the untouched wild and civilization. It's often evil folk that wish to be left to their wicked deeds who make such claims. The Harpers are a force for good in the realms, and that immediately puts us in opposition to the likes of the Zintarim and the Red Wizards of Thay. The attack on Vunlar won't be the last. I can't remember a time when I was glad to have the Zintarim close at hand, but without them, the smaller towns and villages of the Western Moonsea would be unprotected. Zentelkeep and Hillsfar are the two major powers in the region. Their constant tussle for control is all that enables the common folk to enjoy their freedom. The Order is upsetting the balance. That's correct. You know much about the world, friend. The two cities are like an ogre and a troll fighting over a captured halfling. If the Order attacks continue and Zentelkeep loses power, Hillsfar will gain the upper hand. Malthea hates non-humans with a passion. The Zintara merely seek to control towns such as Elventry. Hillsfar would have the entire population murdered. There are more immediate concerns. Fiends roam the roads, and merchants are refusing to travel. Food is not being delivered, and very soon people will go hungry. The next few months could be disastrous for the Moonsea region. The reputation you've amassed speaks highly of your skills. The Moonsea hasn't seen a hero like you in a long time. Perhaps since the days of Shalbal and Renner the Blade. Who else could have survived a battle with a powerful wizard and his slad minions? A lesser hero would be a smoking corpse. Don't... I will lend you whatever help I can. Although I fear I cannot travel with you. The leader of the Temple of Shantia in Vunlar, Lady Shrey, is an old friend and a harbor ally. She possesses a key to the Eastern Gate that leads out of town. Once you leave Vunlar, you should follow the road east to Hillsfar. The Zintarim believe Hillsfar is behind the Order of the Crippled Fang. I have my suspicions that this isn't Malthea's style. 
But still, it's a good place to start. I know him well enough to want him dead. Steer as far clear of him as you are able. He's a ruthless man who fears nothing, and his personal power is great. I'm afraid there's more. Hillsfar has locked its gates. The fact that you are non-human complicates the matter further. Non-humans discovered in Hillsfar are executed or sent to the arena. Here, take it. Use it once you reach the gates. Oh, and take care. Wizards with true seeing and others able to see through illusions will know your true nature immediately. I have an old friend serving in the Red Plumes. His name is Kalor One Hand. Tell the guard on gate duty that you have urgent business with Officer One Hand. It's the best chance we have. Remember, Lady Shrey at the Temple of Shantia hold... Are you an imbecile? 